Hi everyone, uh, in this video I am going to tell you, I am going to talk about the battery charger. If you are working in the motor, if you are working in the motorboard, that is, uh, you should uh, uh, really understand what is the battery chargers and what is the purpose and what kind of things that you have to be take care about the battery charger. So my previous, previous video I already uh, gave you an uh, explanation about the smart battery charger. If you're working in the motors, maybe you can see there's a battery charger, most likely the automatic charger, the automatic charger. Uh, I explained you before what is the automatic charger and what is the smart charger, the same same thing. The, now I'm going to give you a little, uh, uh, little uh, lesson about the battery charger. Uh, uh, how to maintain your battery charger and what it purpose the battery charger usually obviously you know the battery charger is charging your battery bank that uh, uh, sometimes you can see there's a two uh, or more battery charger that uh, usually if you have a engine battery bank and a house battery bank that uh, you have a separate battery charger and the uh, uh, most likely that uh, that is a uh, automatic charger which means smart charger that uh, smart charger you can uh, leave it on all the time because uh, smart charger it will uh, automatically working uh, depend on the battery voltage and battery temperature and like that so here you can see I have two battery charger one is for the ship service other one for the engine battery charger so these battery charger are uh, uh, it's uh, automatic uh, smart charger you can see here uh, case three uh, uh, three stage uh, charger three stage mean is uh, bulk absorption and uh, float uh, stage that that stage uh, mention you what is the uh, status of the battery charger uh, when your battery is uh, taking much power or taking low power the usually more uh, if your battery is uh, less than uh, 70 uh, 70 75 percent uh, like uh, around 70 70 uh, less than or oh, around 70 75 percent which mean the batteries uh, the charger is giving uh, much uh, amperage to the charge the battery that is uh, it will become uh, bulk uh, bulk stage once the 70 after the 70 75 percent that depend on the charger the number will be different but uh, I like that uh, around 70 75 percent after that uh, it will become uh, absorption uh, stage absorption mean the it will give low amperage and uh, because now it's better getting hot because the before they already given the uh, uh, bulk charge so once after the 80, 85, uh, around 85 percent, 90 percent is complete, it will change to the uh, float uh, pace. Float pace means uh, uh, it will maintain the battery current is no, uh, very slowly that uh, it will give the only uh, low amperage to charge the battery. So these three stage I already uh, discussed with my previous video. If you check, you can uh, much understand about the those stage. So here I, in this video I am going to tell you uh, what kind of maintenance that uh, you have to be careful. Actually there is no regular maintenance but there is a few things you have to be careful. So the battery charger uh, wins. The battery charger, the first thing is uh, the temperature. If the, your battery charger is uh, working, usually battery charger is uh, getting hot when they uh, deliver the amperage, high amperage to the, your battery. So the main main thing is this battery charger should be cool. So for that uh, there's a there's a cooling fan for cool the battery charger and you have to be uh, check sometimes that cooling fan that if this cooling fan is not working battery charger uh, could be stopped like a high temperature or something like that. But the most of battery charger it will indicate some uh, fault code that it will tell you what is the fault of the battery charger so the you can if you now you can see here it will take around uh, uh, 35 40 percent uh, around 30 30 percent amperage like 30 amperage 
uh, to the battery charger so which mean this one is now uh, uh, like uh, absorption so this one is giving 30 25 percent 20 uh, not percent uh, 25 uh, 30 30 35 amperage which mean the my battery my battery i have uh, 95 ampere for battery this side for the ship service so almost uh, 380 uh, something like that so from 390 if you calculate that ampere age is uh, uh, 20 35 ampere age which means uh, this one is on now uh, absorption phase uh, stage so you can hear you can hear the sound So this sound, I hope you can hear. So this sound means that there's a cooling fan is now is working. So why is cooling fan is working? Once the uh, the charger is delivered the high amperage to the batteries, charger become uh, the heat. Uh, the uh, that uh, cooling fan uh, deliver the uh, cool air inside the charger and it will put out to the through this uh, vent. So this cooling fan, uh, if ever if this cooling fan has some problem, if this cooling fan is faulty, the battery charger become uh, malfunctioning because battery charger is getting hot, it will automatically stop. So sometimes uh, uh, if you read the manual, there's a, it will tell you sometimes there's a small uh, air filter uh, underneath the battery charger or uh, site that that air filter sometimes you have to clean i show you what kind of air filter it's not a big one is you can see like this small with a small holes so this one sometimes if stuck by the dust particle the the it will not uh, getting uh, good air flow through the battery charger so the battery charger also become overheat uh, and also you can see here also I have a different kind of smart charger this is 40 ampere 24 volt and other one is 95 ampere so this for the ship service battery uh, sorry uh, engine battery but uh, sometimes uh, this battery charger you can use uh, you can switch so for example if you are uh, ship service battery charger is fail you can uh, temporarily use your uh, engine battery charger to charge the ship service battery also the the you you are uh, ship service battery charger you can use for the engine battery uh, to charge the engine battery for temporary uh, why it's temporary sometimes you your ship service battery and uh, engine battery the different amperage and also uh, the different kind it could be a lead acid or it could be a gel battery something like that so before you if you install the battery charger usually you have to select the which kind of battery you are using and when you select the battery charger you have to check the your battery amperage and at least uh, it should be around 25 to 30 percent from the full amperage of your uh, battery bag so uh, the next thing is the temperature sensor the temperature sensor usually installed on the uh, top of the battery the top the battery the charger is uh, getting the the details from the temperature sensor what is the temperature of the battery i will show you the temperature sensor you can see here this is my uh, ship service battery this is 95 ampere oxide agm uh, agm battery this is a four battery bank here uh, sorry uh, four battery here this uh, small gadget here this is the temperature sensor usually it will uh, install top of the battery the usually the middle middle battery so this temperature sensor uh, uh, should install top of the battery like this by uh, uh, duct tape or by some kind of glue some silicon something like that so this temperature sensor is very important because this is the sensor that getting the information from the battery to the charger what is the temperature of the battery if this temperature sensor is fail or this temperature is not installing the charger is uh, 
uh, cannot control the ampere edge depend on the battery temperature it will be a uh, big problem to your battery even it can uh, explode your battery so if you install this uh, kind of uh, smart charger the temperature sensor is very important that temperature sensor sometimes you have to check the main thing is if you already always uh, using your board sometimes you much better check your battery temperature by your hand by touching the battery top of the battery you just touch the battery then you can sense the temp temperature you can te uh, sense the heat the what uh, what kind of heat if you familiar with usually battery is getting warm uh, when battery is charging but if you can feel there's a uh, excess heat uh, the heat uh, more than warm this which means this is normally warm but it, it will it's if you feel that there's a more heat more temperature that but still the charger is uh, working there's a no shutdown something then you have to be careful uh, check this uh, temperature sensor because usually if the temperature sensor uh, if the temperature sensor is working properly if the battery is getting hot the charger automatically will stop uh, so uh, we cannot 100 percent sure these things because these are the machinery thing but sometimes you can check by your hand what is going on with the battery temperature so the battery temperature is very important uh, if you um, working in the motor that you have to check those things so that is the main thing i have to tell you and uh, always try to keep clean the air filter that through the blow in the air and always check the this sound and always check the indicator light indicator light could be sometime digital or sometime kind of this light so this light will tell you what is the going on what's going on with the battery charger so it will give you some uh, warning light warning alarm and give you like a red red light or orange light that every single thing there's a reason and it will uh, if you read the your operation manual that uh, you can be familiar with the what is going on with the battery charger so that is the thing i need to tell you and uh, i hope this video will helpful for you and uh, you can subscribe my video and you can leave the comment if you have any question about the these things and i can help you and uh, thank you for watching have a nice day